up and in, we'd call it, so we had red, that was called our red, and then green was up and in. So we we're up five still, and we're all straight. And if the halfback comes right into the line, and you've got Ben, Cr ben Cray leading inside X, which is what all our back rows are taught to do, and I'll go into that with our attack, you need to make a decision. Do we go up and out? No, because we can't get beaten the inside shoulder. If that halfback, and we're taught to drive in hard at B or C. So if I'm the C defender, Matty Orff coming hard at me, I can't leave, I can't leave him. I'm like that, I'm going straight, he's my man. I'm at X, I'm going straight, I've got Ben Cray tearing in here, I can't leave him either. So I'm like that, you got Darius Boyd out the back. You can't be worrying about what's out the back. Again, don't get beaten inside shoulder. So we're in here, he hits Ben Cray, I'm in. Me centre's in, he's out the back. Me wing is in, he's got the next one. Okay? But you can't get beaten the inside shoulder. This is where it gets. That, that, that position is really hard to defend. You've got to make decisions, but you can't worry about that bloke on the edge. You know, and if he comes in that far into the line, it's going to give you your centre time to come in and jam that fullback. But um, if they are good enough to get it past, and then I'm the ex defender is around the back and helping. Everyone understand that? Yeah. yeah. All right. So again, if they play, if they do play out the back and you've got time, you can't overcommit and bang into that. We're going to push off our lead and go and help. So we're up and in, but a good ball player when I mean, he's going all the way in and right out the back to Billy Slater. So we're up. And then if we've got time, and then we can go, we can go and help, because we've got to protect the inside shoulder of our centre. So your job's not done. You've got to worry about your inside shoulder. As soon as the ball goes, you're helping your mate, and you're going. Okay? Big indicator for a ball player, um, same as going out, is when a defender, so I've got Ben Cray coming in here. As soon as I go like that, I'm gone. I'm shot. You've got to stay square. And you hear your commentators saying, oh, he turned his toes in, Andrew Johns might say it. And that means as an ex-defender, I'm going up and I'm making a decision early and I'm putting enormous pressure on my centre if they do play out the back and I'm going like that, I'm out of play. I can't, I can't get out and help and I'm, I'm just not helping anyone. And that's where your fullback will come straight through there. So very hard position to defend um, and it just comes through practice. But your keys are going straight first, not going in, being aware, talking. And the key is if they play early enough, we're just going up and out and we help each other. Our negative D, say after a break, um, we might not buy any ground at all. If we're really struggling for numbers and need help, we're just going to stand there and we'll call it paddle. And we'll just paddle and we'll back off, back off, back off till we're numbered up. We don't want anyone coming in and shooting out of the line because it'll just screw the system. We'll give them 15 metres, man up, man up, man up, man up, and play it. Same on a short side. If they've got a two on, two on one or a three on two on a short side, um, and we'll do this out on the field, and we call negative, it means your marker, say if I was the second marker, and they had three and I only had two, so they've got us rooted on a short side, my winger and centre are screaming negative, negative, negative. And you, and you don't have to panic, you can close it down easily. But all it is, and you give yourself some space at marker, never get too close at marker. You want to cheat as much as you can there. Cheating, it's saying negative, negative, negative. I'm going back here, but going backwards. They're not even moving up. You go backwards, join the line, and we go, we might give them 15 metres, use your sideline, and you're just like that but no one's jumping in out of the line because they'll just go long and you shot. On a try line, different story. Do your best <laughs> and get, get off the line and get a hand in there and, and you need to, to jam in and leave the only option for him really is your kick. Now, with your kicking, you probably wonder, you're, you're vulnerable to a quick kick when you're going so hard up and so far up. The way we, the way we negate that, I suppose, and we had, um, we had a bit of trouble with Choc Uarte with it and he was really worried about the kick behind him and he wasn't joining the line, he was hanging back and made um, Thurston that were having a bit of fun with him. What, we told, what, what you need your wingers to do, they need to be, say that's the centre, 
They can't be any more than, than that far behind them. And when the line comes, as soon as it comes past two passes, they need to be joining the line and not worrying about the kick. All right? Um, we'll get your full backs, and we call it a pendulum. Your fullback needs to overcompensate for that kick. So this is a good ball kick, a grubber in behind Uade. We call it a pendulum. So um, our fullback will be tracking really hard to the ball so Chock doesn't have to worry about the kick at all. He's worried about his man. He'll make a tackle. If they throw it long, he, he's in between them and he's up and out. He's not in front of the ball, but he's sweet. He knows what he's doing. And it takes all the decisions out of him. So we've got Dugan or whoever our fullback was, Minnie, Hayne, tracking the ball really hard. We're susceptible at the post for that hook back kick. That's what we call our pendulum. Our ex defender, so our 5 8 on the other side of the field, drops out of the line and comes to fullback. And your wingers sitting back there as well. So we understand that. Um, on the try line, same thing. Um, Billy Slater on the end of a, a Cameron Smith kick. We need our fullback tracking hard to get the ball because they're too good and it happens like that. We can't have Uade worrying about it. So our fullback's on his bike and going. Whoever the 5 8 is, or the X, or Mitchell Pierce on the other side, back round behind the line, covering the post, covering that hook back kick that you'll see a Thurston or a Matty Bowen doing. So that's what we call a pendulum. All right? Um, defending high kicks, um, we need to escort the ball, the ball runners. So a high kick goes up, we need to run blokes off the ball. So we can't have blokes just standing there going, oh, do you wingers, oh, good luck. So we need to turn around and get in their road. All right? As legally as you can. So you can't grab them and you're not meant to run in front of them but you've got to do your best and it might only be half a yard but that might be all he needs to catch it. So they're all little things and um, our spaces around the ruck are really important and um, you'll find on the try line especially the big blokes are really worried about getting beaten one on one and they start to creep in and creep in and they're looking after each other. Your spaces are so important. We have a rule where your left, where your back, back rowers, your edge back rowers on the long side can't get sucked inside the far post. If we have a back rower inside the far post, we're in some trouble because we only got three past it. The 5'8", the centre and the winger. So he needs to hold his post, hold his post and get him to space out in between them. All right. Sometimes you're going to get stuck and have to go in and we all got to move in a bit and then it gets a bit, how you going? But they've got to be disciplined enough and that's your talk. He, he can't be going in there. He's got, to, he's got to get them out and get them off the ball. Defend with one marker inside the 10 metre line. We don't have, ten, we don't have two markers there or, or five, five metre line. On the trial line, we don't have any. We'll just stand them either side of the, the play the ball and try and use everybody. No. Um, full back will be in the line at A normally and negative D done that our forwards rolls in defence I've got them there firstly he's going straight if you hit stick aggression line speed you want to get ruck dominance control you still want to intimidate people and you've got to hit on the ball first thing we've got to stop is a footy all right, it's, it's a hard one now because we teach kids to tackle around the legs all the time and I think we still need to teach them how to tackle properly through here, but in first grade and especially at NRL level, um, the first thing we've got to do is stop the ball. Um, we practice a lot of two-man tackling, we're hitting together. Um, so the first one is through here. So if they're targeting a hooker, obviously it's hard for our hookers to be, be hitting on the ball of a sieve and a sieve and, and they're going to get bumped off. A lot of work with our two-man tackling, so simultaneous hit through here and across the ball. But you've got to stop the footy. All right. You look at it from the other point of view. All you're trying to do when you've got the ball is create a quick play the ball or some, get some unstructured defence, and an offload will do that to you. And um, hit on the ball, take them to the ground, get numbers in the tackle, looking at the ref, counting, getting them on their back, peeling off at marker properly. We don't all jump off together. First bloke on, second bloke on. Bloke ran the legs out first. Bloke on, looking at the ref, talking to the ref. He gets up, pull your next bloke up and talking which way you're going to go. So you can get the ref on side by looking at him and talking to him and just cheating a little bit. But the more dominance you got there, your line gets set 
and you're a good chance of dominating the next ruck, dominating the next ruck, get your kick pressure, get the ball back where you want it. Um, our ex defenders, so our, oh, just on the on our forwards, the big thing in, in Origin especially, and we say to all our forwards, they're at their most vulnerable when the ball's going away from them. Don't walk. When you think in Origin in particular, you're safe, you know, it'll come back and they'll get you. As soon as the ball goes away from you, you've got to tie in. The ball's on the other side of the ruck, you've got to tie in and keep tying in and keep tying in. And that's at training. You go up and out, up and out. Ball goes away, tie in. Ball on the ground, hold your line. Don't retreat. The minute they relax, they'll get stuck. They'll get stung. And the ball, it's just, it has a habit of doing it to you. The minute you take an easy option in defence, you'll get found out. And you just can't. Um, our ex-defenders, so that's our th third defender in, so it's our half-backs. The keys to there is talk. They dictate the pattern, whether we're going up and in, up and out, negative. They've got to make